Ever since I've been riding Bojangles, my riding has gotten a lot better. We're gonna wake up Mr. Bojangles. My name is Brittany Kaflish, and I'm the owner with my parents of the River Falls Equestrian Center, and I teach horse riding lessons. Currently, I use him for my students and myself, and anyone that may call that wants to kind of get an evaluation. Um, a student that you'll see in a minute, she's like my favorite because she comes and rides him quite often and we've seen a lot of improvement from her. I've been riding with Brittany for three years. The first time I went out, it just felt like it, it felt like it was what I was looking for and I really wanted to do it because it was the adrenaline rush that I wanted. What have you learned from Bojangles? Um, I learned how to keep my left leg still and how to keep my ring contact and from riding him I can make her happier. My mom and a friend of mine went to the World Equestrian Games. It was held in North Carolina and we were walking around and saw him. My mom has been struggling learning how to canter. I was like, mom, you should ride this thing. They'll put him into a canter and you can kind of feel because what happens you get on a horse and you kind of panic and if you don't have like the best horse, if you panic and squeeze your legs then off they go. So she's been real nervous about that. So she hopped on and she was like in love with him because at one point she clamped on and he started going faster. Well, the, the instructor was able just to turn him down where on a horse you're, eh, pull your reins, hold on. Uh, so she got off and uh, she's like, okay, you've got to ride him. And they came home real excited because they told me they had ridden this horse simulator. And I, I, am a pilot by trade and so every nine months I go fly in a simulator so I understood the importance of a simulator uh, the the ability to test your skills uh, in a controlled environment and so I was all on board and they said they wanted to get one and bring that high-tech invention to Amarillo Texas and I thought that was really cool and so it we got it done there's only four of them in the United States, uh, the simulator that we have. Ours was the fourth. They're very popular in Europe because they're made in Manchester, England. But uh, I think more and more you'll see uh, the equestrian centers in the United States uh, get, get these. So what I'm looking for is that the saddle is sitting evenly on his back. Over time, your saddle sitting on a horse, even sitting on a saddle rack, in cro like cro crooked, they sit on this metal rack. If they don't sit evenly, the saddle will start to fall. And so we need to get them what's called reflock. Well, we put a saddle on his back that we thought was fine, but it was really crooked. And the saddle sensors were able to tell us that. Then we'll get Jay Lee. She actually rides very center. So on him, we have a front sensor. So you can see that green box. And then a middle sensor. And then the back sensor. Do you kind of see those? So those are on both legs. Where that's beneficial is a lot of times we'll have a leg on him and not realize we're squeezing our horse on one side. So when she first got on, yep, yeah, pull that left rein a little bit. When she first got on, she was about right here. Can you see that she's got more rein contact in the left rein than her right rein? And that is very common with um, us riders is we're stronger in one hand. Go ahead and put him into a walk. Yep. So what we've work, been working on with Jaylee is, and basically all of us, our, our arms, we get stiff. So we have a couple common things that happen. One, we either are like this, we don't move because we're trying to be too perfect, um, or we have no ring contact. This way I can actually grab her arms and show her the amount of contact we want with his face. So I want you to take him in, into a trot. Yep, that's all right, yep, there you go. So I want you to keep those shoulders tall. Good. So what she's kind of keeping an eye on, I'm gonna jump down here for a second, you can see my hand. 
So these are her reins. We call this, these little bubbles kind of like a racer size, a happy rain right here. And you see how we kind of have a little bit of a mess. So what I want her to do is she's working on keeping this happy rain, okay? Down here is our balance uh, saddle pressures. So now, right there, she's leaning forward, so I want you to sit back, there you go. Over in this little line over here is her balance line. So Jaylee's sitting a little to the left. Yeah, she's smiling at me. Good, okay. My background's kind of uh, all over the place. I started here in Amarillo with a hunter jumper, learning English. Had a really naughty horse, and so went on to a trainer that kind of helped me learn how to teach young horses. From there, went to Texas A&M, rode for them for four years, and then student coached there for a year, and then was wanting to do something more and exciting, and I um, went for grad school, and then from there went on to Kentucky and learned to event. So with eventing, um, we start with dressage, and that is kind of what we call our classical. It's real, it's beautiful to watch. Um, we try to make it look effortless. Uh, we ride a test of depending on our level. From there, we'll get a score, and we go into show jumping. Show jumping will be either an outdoor arena, indoor arena. From there is my favorite part, is the cross country. And it's out in a field, well, probably multiple fields, with solid objects. And it just keeps getting more technical. Um, so it's really hard because a lot of your horses are either good at one thing and not the other. So this test, they not only have to be beautiful in the dressage ring, but they've got to be pretty gutsy for the cross country. So that's like my favorite part. So now I'm going to take y'all into the dressage ring. Does that sound good? So let's go ahead and let's go to the big ring. So let's trot him on over there. Okay, nice shoulders back. Good, so now I don't want you to lose those hands. There you go. Here I can kind of help her. Um, yep, keep that outside rain. That a girl. Good. Using technology to uh, train is, is new to the, this industry, but I think from what you've seen with Brittany, um, it can really help develop the rider in ways that you can't do when you're 30 to 40 feet away from them. So bringing this high-tech uh, uh, machine or simulator to River Falls was uh, uh, gonna, gonna put us on the map. Now we're heading into the ring and she'll follow, if you can see it, the blue line and she's gonna ride this course. Good girl, yes ma'am. Hold that le right rein. Yep, so the rain slipped through your finger. Did you feel that? Yeah. Good. Yep, shorten up. Keep those fingers closed. Left hand on this side of his neck. Well, the first time I rode, which was last fall, we went back out there and uh, as I, I was walking it and, and, and I'm not a horse rider and the, the instructor said, do you want to go over a jump and I said yeah how hard can it be you know and I'm sitting there and next thing we go we'll go over this jump and and it about th threw me off and uh, I had a, uh, an awakening to say that uh, I respect horse riders now a whole lot more especially equestrian riders they don't have a saddle horn to hold on to and uh, and the more they squeeze to hold on, the, the more the horse says, oh, you want to go faster. So it's, it's kind of uh, uh, backwards. You can tell he's got a lot more power in him. How's that feel? Yeah. Good? It feels big. It feels big. When you're on him, you don't even realize. You'll even say, good boy, and you're like, what did I just do? Um, or you'll, we cluck to our horse, like, to make them go. And a lot of times when they first start riding, they'll cluck to him to ask him to move forward. And then they're like, I just told a plastic horse so, with a cluck. Brittany is the uh, Amarillo location for the high pack circuit, the High Plains Equestrian Circuit. There are other uh, uh, teams in Lubbock, Midland, and Abilene, and they travel. And this is the uh, arena that they come to in Amarillo. So if they can feel what it feels like to ride a perfect horse, 
um, then they can slowly transition that onto theirs. Um, so I, hopefully it will be really beneficial.